I should, ultimately when the paintings are done, I, I have to kind of think about, you know, what kind of environment would I like these paintings to live in, you know? And, you know, as we were talking about this before, it's great to sell work. It, it's a nice pat on the back. It, you know, you need, you need the money like you need blood, like you need water. If you don't have it, you can't create. Uh, when, I made, when I made jewelry, uh, you know, gold is expensive. It's, you know, I mean, if you, at the time, if you were paying $3.18 an ounce for uh, silver, it was $318 an ounce for gold. And whenever I would, I would make anything that was gold, you know, I would really not, I would just barely have enough materials. And I remember my, my, my friend Cindy, who I apprenticed to for seven years, she said, you have to be able to take some chances. And if you don't have materials, if you're not willing to melt that in a slag heap, you're not going to advance. Same old, same old. I'm just about, uh, this is the last week, so we're kind of wrapping things up. Final critiques, all that kind of jazz, you know. Um, kind of glad that it's over. I mean, I think my students are at a point where they're toxic with me, and, but I, as much as I hate to admit it, I hit a point where I'm sort of toxic with them. And, uh, I love them, don't get me wrong. But, uh, I think after a while they start to kind of turn off a little bit, you know, and after the Thanksgiving break, I think they're done, you know, they have to come back to the finals and the portfolio reviews, but uh, I think there's part of that that's almost masturbatory, you know, I mean, I wish I could just let them go then. Right now I teach, uh, I teach 2D design and uh, drawing one. So basically, the I'm only a part-timer. The tenure professors take all the good stuff. You know, they get the advanced painting seminars, um, which, once again, I mean, to be honest, I, I think those classes are kind of easier, you know? Not that you're doing less teaching, but it's a different kind of teaching. You know, it's not so basic. Actually, it's kind of painful because I, my students move on, and then I'll see them two or three years later, and, you know, they kind of look at me as the guy that, that taught them the beginning stuff, which they're long since past. I had a student one semester who uh, was really, really good doing these portraits that looked very Rembrandt-esque. They had that sort of internal illumination, and, uh, I, you know, I said to him one day, I'm like, you know, these look like Rembrandts, and he looked at me and he went, who? And I was, I, I thought he was with me. I didn't know he was serious because how, you know, even if you've never taken an art class, you'd figure you've heard Picasso or Michelangelo or Rembrandt. Yeah, well, the, yeah, I mean, drawing and design.